so excited. First official full day in Tokyo. I am going to the famous Tsukiji fish market. I've seen a lot of photos, videos on social media as well as growing up and always wanted to go there and have some fresh fish. That's what I'm going to do today. I think that's the pissing shrimp. Or is that? Yeah, that's the pissing shrimp. This looks ridiculously fresh. My first impression of this fish market is that it is crowded. This is 11 a.m. on a weekday. I, I can't imagine what this is like on a weekend. Look at the size of these oysters. Holy cow. I think I found something I want to eat. Tuna steak. Look at this thing. What? Oh man, this looks awesome. Steamed oysters. I'm going to be trying out a lot of random foods. The first thing that caught my eye are these seared tuna steaks on a skewer. And I just doused it in chili pepper. This is awesome, man. Oh, oh. wow. See, this, this thing's just like flaking off the skewer. Oh, I love that he finishes off with uh, with a blowtorch on the outside. So on top of the nice tuna meat, you get that nice little char. Fantastic way to start my day. Second food item are these uh, steamed oysters. And I think these are really simple. These are freshly steamed oysters. All I saw them do was add a little bit of soy sauce in here. And these look awesome. It's so cool. Mm. No fishiness at all to this. This is so incredibly fresh. I'll tell you, I was kind of hesitant because I'm not the biggest fan of oysters. I find them really slimy. Even when they're cooked, a lot of times I find their fishiness a little too much for me. But the flavors here are really simple. I think they're really reliant on how, how fresh these oysters are. And this is absolutely delicious. These are grilled scallops with uh, sea urchins on top. And the sea urchin is barbecued with a blowtorch. <laughs> this looks absolutely insane. I'm giving sea urchin a shot, but I, 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 don't, I don't love it. I feel like it tastes like a slimy ocean. That's basically what sea urchin is to me. Hopefully it tastes better under a blowtorch. It smells good. Hold on. I feel like the ocean threw up in my mouth. To me, it's just briny. It's really, really slimy. Yeah, this tasted way too much like the ocean. Like, like, I, like I took a physical bite of seawater. It's really a bit terrifying, but I'm here to try new things. So let's try this brown stuff. It smells very crabby. Wow. Never judge a book by its cover. This is this isn't that bad. Mm, there's chunks of crab meat in here, and there's definitely crab innards in here. And this thing, by all accounts, doesn't smell the greatest. But wow, it's like a crabby cream of spinach. I never thought I would ever enjoy eating a mysterious brown goo from a crab shell, but this has changed my mind. So in the future, if I ever see something else brown and gooey, as long as it's in a crab shell, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, that's probably the worst advice ever. Don't ever do that. Oh, tea. Matcha? Sencha. Sencha. Nice. I need this to kind of wash the ocean from my mouth. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you. This place behind me sells tamago, which is a Japanese uh, egg roll, egg wrap. And I don't, I don't know if this place is actually really that good or this is all hype, but look at the line here. Guess I'll find out. Okay, I'm looking around and everybody in line with me seems to be a tourist. So this is smelling more and more like a trap, but I'll let you guys know. Thank you. My first impression, it looks like a popsicle, except it weighs about three times as much. This is really dense and is really heavy. Oh, God. I'm surprised to see I'm missing a piece here because I swear to you, I, I did not bite it. It just, it just kind of broke off in my mouth. Wow, this is velvety, smooth, and delicious. What's kind of throwing me off a little bit is that it's kind of sweet. I was expecting this to kind of be like a, like an omelet on a stick, but not at all. It is almost like a dessert, like a, like an egg custard on a stick. Look on the inside. This is, I feel like, where the fluffiness is coming from. Although it's dense, it's heavy. There's so many layers, 
so many layers of eggs in here that when you bite into it, it just crumples in your mouth. It's almost like an eggy building demolishing. Now the problem is, I have no idea what this thing is supposed to taste like. So, I mean, it's good. I just can't tell you in the world of Tamago whether this is like a five or a 10. It is yummy though. You know what? This will be really awesome with a pancake or bacon. What the heck is this? And why are there like 20 billion people here? I swear to you, every sushi place um, in this market is, is packed. Every one of them. I wanted to take a break from the seafood and grab some mochi. This is fresh mochi with strawberries inside. And I got a matcha mango, mango cream and custard. Let's start off with the mango one. And I see a couple different types of cream inside. So let's take a bite. Mm. Wow, I got powder on my mouth, flying everywhere, snowing in Tokyo. Okay, that thing got a huge mango flavor. And what's in here is what looks like whipped cream. And also there's definitely mum bean uh, paste in here. Mum bean paste, mum bean cream, one of those two. This is definitely not light. I see why they paired it off with the strawberry because the flavor of the strawberry cuts into the heaviness of the cream and the filling. Actually, this is really heavy. I feel like I feel like one bite and it is enough for me. I don't even know how I can finish this. This is, oh my goodness, it, it's so substantial. All right, let's soldier on to the next mochi. This is the custard one I got. And I was really excited about this. This is like a hand grenade. I could throw this across the street right now and destroy a building. And I have never been so happy for the presence of strawberry before in my life. Without the strawberry, I feel like this is just gonna bombard your stomach and sit there for the next week. <laughs> There's no good way to eat this without destroying yourself, making, making you look like a guy who throw hip first into like a flower factory or something. Excuse my barbaricness. Let me just shove the strawberry deeper into the mochi. <laughs> it's like a strawberry mochi sandwich. A monanwich. Much better than a mango. This is a lot lighter than a previous one. This is actually pretty good. I never ate mochi like a taco before. I actually want to finish this. Mm. Finally, let's try the matcha one. I'm just gonna take the strawberry off because I um, just want to try this in its purest form. So without the strawberry, this is the size of this mochi and look at it, it, it is pretty big. And I think this one is going to be really dense as well. I am covered, covered in flour. This is, I wish it was snowing right now so I have the excuse. But most people are going to be like, yeah, this guy just needs to wash his hair. But I feel like it's going to be really dense because I think it's going to be bean paste in here as well. Mum bean paste, even this one is better than the uh, than the uh, mango one. Wow, I'm, I'm done. I, I, I want to eat more food, so I'm going to lay out the mochi. So guys, remember, valuable lesson. If you want to eat a lot of food, lay out the mochi. After the mochi break, I feel pretty good. Let's go get more seafood. Look at this. Can I, can I have a whole roast fish? One of these. Look at this, this is like a tuna there, and then they're cutting it fresh for people right here. This guy's got a tuna sword. Look at the size of that knife. This is as fresh as you're gonna get. Just walking by and this scallop looked absolutely insane. The last scallop experience I had today wasn't all that good. This has no uh, sea urchin on there, so I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of good about this. I love it whenever people use uh, low torches on my food. I feel like that should be a prerequisite when it comes to barbecue. That was awesome. I'm very happy about that. Uh, that scallop I had all day. Well, I only had two, but this is really awesome. Nice char flavor. Mm, the sauce they poured on this, a little bit of soy sauce. Oh, it's nice. I feel like this one was a lot fresher than the last one. I don't know why the last one really tasted like, just like I took a gulp of the ocean water, but this is really fresh, not too fishy, really not much ocean -y flavor to this. It's just a nice, tender, beautifully barbecued scallop. Right, right, this looks just insane. This is like a, a smorgasbord of seafood. On a, on a clamshell, you got tuna. There's sea urchin, which I'm not really excited about. There's crab, and of course, clam on the bottom. This is the ultimate fresh seafood sampler platter. Little piece of crab. Wow. Nice little scrumpish little crab claw. Oh, clam. 
Oh, well, that's good. Loving this so far. Try a piece of the tuna. I didn't want this completely raw. It looks like uh, it's cooked maybe medium rare right now. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. That thing was probably swimming in the ocean an hour ago. This is the opposite of a star kiss. I'm gonna try the sea urchin again. Never a big fan of sea urchin. Still not a big fan of sea urchin. Sorry to be kind of graphic, but it tastes like a sea snot. Maybe it's just me. Does everybody love sea urchin besides me? This is the scallop that belongs in the shell. This thing was like nine US dollars, but I feel like it's really worth it. I mean, you cannot get seafood this fresh. Especially that tuna. I am falling in love with that tuna. Don't judge me, I'm drinking the soup. That was really satisfying. Now my day's complete. I'm good. Maybe a couple more dishes, I'm good. A few more, three more, four more, maybe ten more. King crab is one of my favorite things in the world. I think I had it at a Chinese buffet once and it blew my mind. Look at that beautiful crab meat. They put absolutely nothing in here and it tastes fantastic. This thing, which is naturally sweet, a little saltier from the salt water. Holy wow, this is what fresh king crab tastes like. I wouldn't dip this in butter even if you put it next to me. This needs absolutely nothing except its natural, fresh self. This crab is a prime example of why you should just be yourself. I mean, look at this thing. It needs no butter, it needs no salt, it needs no oils, it needs no makeup. This crab's got no hair extensions, it's got no fake nails. It's perfect and beautiful as it is. Thank you. The perfect way to end this fish market food sampler day. <laughs> oh, that is nice. This ice cream is as fluffy as they come. Mm. It's so satisfying after all the seafood I had. This has been such an awesome day here at the Tsukiji Fish Market. Like I said, I've been wanting to come here forever and finally I'm here. I got to taste a lot of awesome food. Got to walk around and check out all the stalls. And as crowded as it was, I had a great time. I think for me, if you put me in any situation, as long as I'm surrounded by food, I'm gonna have fun. Now the thing is, nothing here is cheap. A typical item costs about 500 yen at least. And it really adds up because a 500 yen item might just be a one biter. And you don't even realize it because you're having a great time. You see all this delicious food and you wanna try everything. And the next thing you know, you spend hundred dollars. And I get that this place is most likely considered a tourist trap. But whatever, I love to hear, especially if you're not like me, if you enjoy sashimi, if you enjoy raw fish, you will love what they offer here. I, I almost wish I, I ate sashimi today because the fresh tuna looks so amazing. And my one regret today was that um, the inside of the market was not open, so I didn't get to see that. Also, of course, I did not get to see the fish auction. But overall, this has been such a fun experience. And if you guys have ever been here, let me know how you like it in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See ya. Oh, something else I really loved about that fish market was that most of the vendors they could at least speak some English which was good because all the Japanese I know I learned from watching anime so I didn't want to accidentally challenge somebody to a sword fight or confess my love to someone